Hello students, so continuing our lectures on solid state physics, we will discuss uh, superconductivity today. Now, it has been told in our previous classes that the superconductivity is a state where the resistance to the material goes to almost to zero at a very low temperature. Uh, so, it is like almost like this, you have a resistivity plot, which is temperature, so it shows dip suddenly at this temperature and this temperature is uh, mainly uh, called the critical temperature TC and it is found to be around 4.2 Kelvin in the case of silver now another property that a superconductor exhibits is the Meissner effect where it excludes magnetic field uh, when it allow when it is allowed to pass through the superconductor and it is considered to be a perfect diamagnetic state so it having a susceptibility value as a minus one so this is relationship between the applied magnetic field the magnetization and the magnetic field it has been excluded so this relationship and by from uh, we get m by b is equal to mu zero c square Now there are two types of superconductors, where is uh, type 1 superconductors where uh, the magnetic field or superconductivity vanishes as soon as the applied magnetic field crosses this uh, critical value of magnetic field and there is another called a type 2 superconductor where there is some portion of the superconductivity still exists even uh, after uh, a certain uh, threshold called the lower critical value of a magnetic field has been uh, crossed and it totally vanishes after it has crossed the BC to the second uh, critical value of magnetic field. So this is type 1 and this is type 2. So here uh, as we have already uh, seen type 2 superconductors uh, exhibit Meissner effect up to the critical field BC above which there is no superconductivity whereas type 2 up to BC1 and lower critical field at uh, applied magnetic field greater than BC1 the material still exhibits some superconductivity but supercurrents can exclude only a part of the applied magnetic field and this is and uh, it vanishes at BC2 however this BC1 and BC2 value they also uh, they also change with temperature and after critical temperature they, uh, they there is no uh, BC1 and BC2 because after it has been this temperature has been overcome there is no superconductivity present in the material uh, the difference in uh, free energy between a uh, uh, applied magnetic field and uh, with zero magnetic field is b square by 8 pi and, uh, and the difference is uh, again b c square by 8 pi and we have the London penetration depth uh, which is given as uh, chi minus 1 by 4 pi and then uh, this is the equation that we can obtain uh, the critical current uh, or the current in the magnetic field up to which it can pass through the material while well, applied magnetic field is there is c by 4 by sigma l square this this value is the penetration depth and uh, ultimately we get something called a London gauge and we get the value of an for surface through which the external current is fed and is at a 200 conditions the normal value of the, uh, the current should be equal to 0 and one magnetic of an should be also be equal to 0 then ultimately the solution that is obtained or the equation is this one and this is the value of the magnetic field uh, with respect to temperature now the reason of the superconductivity is a formation of a Cooper pair that is two electrons they come together and they move together and uh, we call it as s wave pairing we consider the two electrons having one is a k up state and minus k which is the down state of the electron and uh, pairing takes place so at this critical temperature uh, there is this is called the divide temperature that is pairing and the in the bc is ground state at temperature less than or equal to zero this is always it shows a density of states sharply decreasing to zero whereas at t greater than uh, zero there is a slight dip 
slight variation in the uh, density of states falling to zero. So these again the Cooper pairs as we have said that two electrons are get together. So basically there is formation of uh, there is a pairing of the S waves that is formation of either the plus or up state occupied state to occupied states or two unoccupied states. These two conditions are Cooper pairs are formed.